Good morning, everybody. It is November 23rd or something like that here today. Obviously, we're back up at the North Farm. We were back at the South Farm for a while hauling grain. You guys missed all that because I caught the flu and I was down for a week. And then by the time I healed up, the grain was hauled down there. So we're back up here again. And the reason is because we're still hauling grain up here. So we literally just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But anyways, they're coming to pick up this blade pretty soon. We actually washed everything off. You can see the red back in the two track rims. And, uh, but I wanted to fire this thing up, see how it would do moving just a little bit of snow. We don't have much snow to move and it's a pretty beautiful day. It's only minus three, I think, minus three degrees Celsius, uh, which is a balmy spring day basically. So let's fire this thing up. It has not been plugged in. It has not ran in quite a while. So let's see how it starts. Okay. I do not believe there's any gold plugs. Of course I'm low on antifreeze. Oh, no problemo. Fired right up. So, uh, the 724 has been sitting over there for the same amount of time, same temperature. Should we go try to fire that one up just for kicks? Just for a little comparison, maybe. It's not going to start as good. Sure. Let's do it. We have to have this thing running later on today, anyway. Oh, this one's dirty in here. Okay, this one does have gold plugs. Turn our batteries on. plug right there all right here we go that's not a good sign I think we got some starter problems here sound of that starter there obviously but uh, we'll let this thing warm up as well and again once it gets really cold so we're gonna start picking up grain bags uh, in about 10 days and that the temperature shows like minus 20 degrees Celsius in about 10 days the temperature's gonna start plummeting back down to actual where we should be this is above average uh, temperatures right now so of course we like to pick up grain bags when it starts to get the coolest but anyways we're gonna let this stuff warm up then we're gonna go try and play it around a little bit so all right so we've got this thing uh all boomed down i'm gonna lower it down the ground's froze solid right so that you can pretty much put this thing right on the ground and it would just kind of shake around put the wings down Oh, sorry about that. We don't have much snow to move yet. It hasn't really snowed that much. But there is just a little bit here. Definitely like it. it uh, it's a lot quicker than using a front loader on a tractor. I'm gonna drag this out into the field a little ways. All right, let's just stop here for a second. We'll get out and take a peek here.
So these end caps here, that definitely helps for pulling some snow. So obviously the center, it's a little bit lower. You can tell right there. It's not bad. It's not perfect over here, but you know, it's only like my second, third try because I did a couple swipes over there. Now, we're gonna leave this here because I actually would like this to catch some snow. So maybe uh, as the snow prevalently comes from this direction, blows across here, hopefully some of these banks will kind of catch a little snow before it blows, our over, blows over our road over there. Let's go and uh, let's go keep going here for a little bit. All right, let's pull this down far. Let's pull it right down to the road here. One thing I learned from last year, because last year we had so much snow, I would normally just drop it here because it's outside the yard, right? But uh, the snow kept coming and it kept coming and it kept coming and I actually ran out of places to take it. So let's just take it all the way down here. This is a hill that's going to go this way when it melts. better than using the loader. Drag it all the way down. We're spilling off to the edges a little bit. I guess we're full. We can only take so much. Down to where those green bags are and kind of open those up a little bit too. 
All right, let's burn her down the highway here and go find some oat bags. What a beautiful day. Beautiful. All right, we just arrived. You can see the two grain bags over there. So we're gonna wing down. Now, for I'm gonna make a few swipes, so I don't want these end caps down. I'm gonna lift these up so that way it can slide and roll off. I don't really want to drag it anywhere yet. Awesome. Here we go. Scratch the ground here a little bit. Oh, not that much. Here we go. something there. Sorry about that. I'm trying to do two things here at once. I'm just working on these end wings here so they don't gouge the ground. Look at that. We're doing a beautiful job here. This here pass is so the semis can come in. Make a nice big wide corner here. Coming up behind the grain bags. Oh, oh we're gouging some, gouging a little soil here. Apparently it's not quite all frozen underneath that snow, which would make sense. Pick it up a little bit. It's not what we wanted to do. is hit the grain bag. You can only imagine how bad it would be to hit the grain bag. You can also tell that the deer have found the edge of this grain bag. This is where we didn't roll it up properly and it pushed out because we did it at night. We couldn't see what we were doing and the people standing on it didn't stand long enough. Now that we've said our piece, we threw some pallets on there to kind of keep it from blowing in the wind and let the oats, you know, sift around so that way hopefully deer don't find it. Well, that didn't work because obviously the, clearly the tracks, the deer found it. Um, they only found one opening where let's go take a peek here. I was just here yesterday with the pickup truck and you can clearly see that there's tracks on top of my tracks. Look at that nice little self feeding hole for them right there. Um, other than that, the bags are in really good condition which is surprising you can tell that they tried to walk up on the bag here just a little bit we got some hoof prints here typically we would tape these another one over there did Mike bring tape down no that would make way too much logical sense to bring tape down so yeah 
I right, see, I think the deer are coming from over there. Oh, they come for miles for oats, you guys. They come for miles. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Obviously, there's not very much snow here. We're just going to kind of grade the ground a little bit, try to get as close as we can without gouging the bag. Let's do it. Let's get cracking. First time I've ever used something like this to uh, clean up inside a grain bag. Mike, have you ever hooked a grain bag while cleaning the snow around the side of it? Oh, absolutely, positively. Yeah. Now, two things can happen. You can just tear a chunk out of it. Uh, just tear a little chunk obviously it leaks out all of its product right there. No big deal Worst case is if you hit it right in the right spot jeopardize the bag She'll split all the way down and well, you can only imagine how bad that would be So that has happened. It is rare though. Normally you just take a chunk out of the bag But The semis have to come on this side, so we're only going to clean off this side. Then we're going to pull it out of the way to get over here somewhere. Sure, how about right there? Seems like a good spot to me, Mike. Take a couple more swipes out here. As you can tell, we're just about done already. Mike, how come you don't take a swipe out of this side? It's not needed. Um, maybe we will just for fun, but it's not needed. The trucks come on this side, and because we'll back the bagger extractor in here, the offload auger is going to be on this side. The trucks are going to come around here. And then trucks are going to come around that side of the bag as well, so I have to clean that one out just a little bit over there. So yeah, let's get let's get lined back up here. Mike is trying to get way too close to that bag, so let's not do that, Mike. Okay, there you go, buddy. We don't need to be that close, but we do need to be within about two feet, give or take. The truck has to get pretty close. What you don't want to have happen here is if uh, this side over here hooks a rock or something and it actually kicks the blade over. That is normally how we uh, rip our bags. It's because we hit a rock and the blade kicks over and, or we'll have our grater. We also have a grater and uh, like a motorized actual grater back home. And we'll be going along and everything's going hunky-dory. We're getting really close to the blade with that thing, with the bag with that one, right? And all of a sudden we'll hook a rock kicks the whole grater right into the bag. I'm like, come on! It's happened. There we go. Oh, I think you guys pretty much got this figured out. Look at that beautiful, nice pass there. The semis can come pulling right up, no big deal. Oh yeah, and then we're going to make a couple more roads here. We'll make a road back out. Just looking good, you guys. And with that, I think I'll let you guys go. You guys have yourself a really good one. And I'll probably see you a little bit later. Adios, amigos. Yeah, I know I'm back. Uh, one thing I really like about this thing is how it clears roads. So, as you can clearly tell, our uh, road here, and it's not much of a road, it's more of a grass trail down a field. Slightly blown over. But, 
this thing works wonders. It's literally the width of the road. Where was this thing last year? I'm telling you. We had a lot of snow issues and problems last year. Remember the driveway into our farmyard was so blown over. We had Ernie out there with a little green blade trying to go down the sides to whip it into the ditch. And it, it was built up about five to six feet uh, on the sides. And we, we just couldn't push it anymore. This thing, you would hit it with a little bit more speed and wing it into the ditch. A lot bigger tool. Now, it's no snowblower. Obviously, it can still be limited by how much snow you have to move, but nice, doing a nice clean job back there. Let's pick up a little bit of speed. Hopefully, we don't hook a rock or something here. True, I'm gonna slow back down, it scares me too much. Ah. All right. Definitely like how this paint throws. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. Uh, oh, why am I out here cleaning this dirt? trail down the side of my field is because we're supposed to have another piece of equipment showing up sometime to do some more work. Um, I guess that'll be the surprise if it shows up. We don't, we're not sure how it's all going to shake down here. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Adios, amigos.